Hey everyone, it's Ben, and I'm going to show you how to make a small recommender system for Python source code. Uh, okay, I'm going to go right into the overview. So, this is the code. I'm not going to rewrite it because uh, I already tried uh, making this video like three times and uh, found out a couple times I didn't have audio. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to say that uh, we're going to pass in this if, right, and we're going to get all the source codes that the source code that is similar to it uh, based on the vectors that we've passed in. So, um, you know what, I'm, I've already ran it, so I'm gonna run this line again, and you'll see that given if we get these uh, indices back, and those indices will correspond to our Y value, right? Uh, this is an elif, an else, and then a few other things don't really make sense, but if you see it, you can see that if is definitely correspondent with, um, it's definitely related to elif and else in Python. So this is really cool. So this is done by word embeddings, and word embeddings are vectors that have some type of relationship to other vectors based on the words that were given. So let's say a cert function, right? A cert function has this vector, and it's probably related, it, well, it's related to all these other words in some way, but it's probably not as closely related as it is to some others, you know? So like if, um, if I was given man, woman, and child, let's take a look at it. Um, let's look at this right here. This is a very good example uh, to start with. Uh, so, man, woman, and boy, and all these other all these words, uh, one hot encoded equal this, right? So, man is the first one, woman is the second, boy is the third, and you'll notice that there's as many zeros and ones as there are uh, words, and that's because this is just corresponding and giving some uniqueness to that value, and giving some numerical uniqueness to it. Um, now. Let's that 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 doesn't really help us with the the vectorization. So we're going to um, look at a neural network, right? So this you put those one one of those one hot encoded vectors here, or you can actually do even more. You can get quite big. Uh, then it goes through some hidden layer, goes through some weights, and uh, multiplies up, and then um, it goes and it has an output layer. Now this output layer generate is a different vector. It's actually kind of kind of similar to what we had seen. Um, uh, with this, so not this one, um, with this, right? It's kind of similar to that, but the, it doesn't have any meaning yet. So in some ways, like this introduction to word embeddings um, towards data science uh, actually says that uh, they have, have a great day. Let's input uh, to the neural network uh, the word great, right? Notice uh, they're trying to predict the word day. So they have a, a context. They're saying that they want to, given great, they want to predict the context of day, which this is very complex because you can say have a great morning, and that's, you know, you just said day, but there's there's a lot of leeway on that. But that's what they're trying to do. You could do other things. You could say that you could try and build relationships, uh, like. Uh, implicit or explicitly by saying that man is to woman as woman is to etc and you could just have uh, the man vector input here go into this neural network and then come out here and then uh, you have some type of error that says oh you didn't predict woman uh, so let me get that error it's from what you thought would be woman as the vector and then from the actual one which is the one hot encoded and then back propagate there you go. You could do that, um, and that will give you some other types of things. There's a lot of you can play around with a lot of these things. So, um, what? Okay. So, where do we get these vectors from? Well, Python two vec. Well, this is a, a article on there, and uh, I know that it says here. Get the get it here somewhere. Ah, the resulting model and code need explorer can be found here. Right. So lab 41 uh, is a challenge lab, and they have created these vectors uh, for Python. And it's right here in this blog model.json file in their GitHub. Now, how do they, what frameworks and what code did they use to generate these word embeddings? Well, they used Matplotlib, Scikit-Learn, NumPy, Pandas, and a few other things, right? So, um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, let me walk you through the code. I'm not gonna, oop, I'm not gonna redo it. Um, but uh, first, you're gonna need to import pandas. Then you need to import nearest neighbors. Why do we want nearest neighbors? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. <clears throat> so nearest neighbors is uh, an algorithm that generally has been used to classify or do some regression, and, but it also can do recommendations. Um, so 
what it, let's let's take a look so if I give this X point and this other X point or you can even say X and Y what is this class so here we say well let's just say this is the blue class this is the the uh, orange class and green means it's unknown it's an unknown class so <clears throat> here's something that's pretty intuitive if we plot this somewhere we can just get the close the values that are closest to it check what classes those are and then we could say is this class like in this instance uh, it, the K equals three, so it wants three votes. And then it says that it's gotten two votes from blue, that it's a blue class, and then one vote from orange. Well, majority rules in this algorithm, so this is blue. K equals three, equals blue. Okay, that's not helpful for us. We want the kind of the inverse of all this. We want to say, given this data point, what are the surrounding points? What what can you recommend for us? It's like okay, so given this data, let's say this if statement what's next to it else else if the elif else and then apparently module dir switch if we go back here we can see module dir switch so these are these are data points on that plot right here and uh, that's what we've done so okay let's continue so using pandas you just want to read in the json file which is that blog model dot json that'll take a minute then after that uh, this is going to be a little strange, but you have to transpose these values. If you see this, right, you'll see that the word is the vector. Is uh, I mean, the word is the uh, column, and the vector is um, in the rows, which is not normal. Normally, you have the sample, which would be the word, as the index on this left-hand side, and then the row, rest of the row would be the features. Okay, so. What you do is you just transpose this df.t.values. It transposes all this and just flips it. So you'll see that x now. If you look at this, you'll see that negative 0 0.04, then 0 0.111. You can see that instead of it being up and down uh, vertically, it's now horizontal. OK, so it, it transposed. OK, but what about these y values? Well, the y values, if you look at it, if you just do df.columns.toList, you'll have these y values and you'll see okay zero is the at index zero and uh, this row is at index zero okay well that that seems to match up right so let's look at this right zero zero and then let's look 0 0.04 0 0.04 0 0.11 0 0.11 okay so it, it's all good to go let's and just to double check you can check these double zero and you'll see double zero, 0 0.49, 0 0.82, then you'll see 0 0.49, 0 0.82, and it's on index one, this is on index one. So these are all matching up. So now you want to instantiate the classifier, or not the classifier, what am I saying? The recommender, and then you want to train it. In this case, we're just plotting. It's not necessarily really a training. Um, then after that, what you are going to say is recommender.kneighbors, and then you're going to say, well, you're going to have to have this wrapped in another list, but let's just say df, and then let's look at if, and then let's say to list, and then, like I was saying, you have to have this wrapped in square brackets, because it needs a 2D array. It's looking for a table of data. And then we're saying in neighbors equals six because we want to get the first. We're getting want to get the first five uh, recommendations, but we're saying six for a reason. Now, if I it, the reason being because it's going to give us itself. Now, if you look at the distances, I already did once. It says there's a distance of zero. So, what is the closest thing to if 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 is on the plot? If itself. It's it's zero. It has the shortest distance it could possibly be. So um, what we're saying is, uh, you know, actually let me let me show you some more stuff. Look at that. I got an error. Indices because indices is a uh, two dimensional array. So you need to have it as getting the first thing. All right. Now what? And now you see that if is here because itself is there. And um, now what we're going to say we're just going to skip over that one so now we get the first five because we just skip the first one and take the rest okay i hope everybody enjoyed this i know it went a little fast um but uh i think it all went well all right have a good one bye